G'day legends and welcome back to Max Power Cardboard Collectibles. Hope this video finds you well, happy and living your best life. And today's a very exciting day guys. We got the uh, video from Select regarding the upcoming Prestige release. Um, but before we get stuck into that, you know the drill, we're going to take care of a little bit of housekeeping stuff. Uh, downstairs in the description you will find links to all our social media accounts, Instagram and Twitter. We are Max underscore Power underscore. So uh, look, get around us on that if you uh, want to keep uh, keep up with what we've got coming up on the channel. Uh, as well on Insta as, you know, sort of a bit of stuff surrounding my PC and my journey through the hobby in general. Um, also, just want to give a shout out to uh, all our new subscribers. Guys, thank you very much. You're doing God's work. Uh, we hit the uh, the magical number of 69 subscribers on the YouTube the other day. So, uh, you know, pats on back to us and pats on back to you guys. Uh, really appreciate it. I think we've even picked up a couple more since then. We're sitting around the 70 mark, so that's lovely. Um, also, guys, just apologies if my voice sounds a little bit croaky today. I'm feeling a little bit under the weather, but, uh, you know, I'm a bit excited about this and the show must go on. So, uh, yeah, look, here we go. Um... So look guys, yeah, yesterday we had the video come out with uh, with Lynn from Select going through all the hits and stuff. And uh, look, there's a fair bit of info to get through today. So uh, I think we'll just roll the intro and get stuck straight into it. Alright guys, so as you can see, we got our checklist uh, up here from Select. Um, I will leave a link to that downstairs in the description as well if you guys want to go have a look um, at your player and representation for your teams and have a little bit of a study of it yourself. Um, but look, before we try and get, before we start to get like into all the inserts and stuff, we'll just go through all the general sale info and stuff. So. Look, Footy Stars Prestige 2022, uh, it's going to be $155 a box. So, uh, look, that's a $15 increase on last year. Um, but, look, there's lots of value in it, and we'll get into that later. But, um, yeah, look, 24 packs in a box, 12 boxes to a case. Uh, it's an 8,400 box print run, a bit like last year. So, um, you know, it is a limited release. Um, SCC sales are going to be open from now until uh, next Sunday at 6 a.m. Western time. So that'll be 8 a.m. for Eastern time uh, for the SCC members. So look, if you haven't got your orders in for SCC, maybe try and get on that soon. I've already put mine in. My first purchase as an SCC member, very happy about that. Um, public sale will be going on Sunday, the fifth of May, 15th of May, sorry, uh, at 11 a.m. Western time. That is 1 p.m. in the East, and there will be a limit like last year, of four boxes per household. So um, if there's two people that live in your house that want to buy cards, make sure you get a second mailing address for someone else. Uh, because I think it's like we'll cancel multiple orders for the same address. Um, and then the official release and shipping day is Tuesday the 24th of May. So I am assuming we are going to be getting our cards around the 30th, end of May, early June, probably for us in the West, as we always have to wait a little bit longer. Uh, but that just comes with the territory. Um, that is all good. Um, so yeah, look, check this is available on the Select website for everyone to have a look at. As I said, I'll chuck the link downstairs in the description and we can have a look through that. All right, so here we go. Prestige 2022 checklist. Um, quick disclaimer, the cards on this checklist look nothing... No, sorry, no, they don't look anywhere near as good as what they're going to look in hand. So if you're not too impressed with how they look on here, don't fret. Watch the video from uh, Select if you haven't already. I'll also, sorry, I'll also put a link to that downstairs in the description. So we'll have, um, just to the Select Facebook page, there isn't a direct link to the video. Sorry, like I said, I'm a bit tired. I'm stumbling over my words a little bit here. Um, but yeah, uh, I'll chuck the checklist in down there. Chuck the link to the Select Facebook page down there. You can go and have a look at the video for yourself. I would suggest pausing this video going and having a watch of that and then maybe coming back so you can sort of see what I'm talking about when we're talking about how some of these cards come up. Um, commons, you guys know the drill with the commons. They look way better than last year though. The uh, the silver sheen is a little bit less like a mirror and a little bit more just like a nice sort of silver foil. Um, I think they look way better this year than last year. Um, and yeah, look, okay, let's get stuck into some of these inserts because we all know about commons. We're all done with base, right? Um, so look, following on from Prestige last year, uh, Game Breakers are back this year, uh, and they've also introduced a, um, Prestige version of Milestones, which is kind of cool too. So, the good thing this year is that these guys will both be numbered. So, Game Breakers will be numbered to 750, and the Milestones will be numbered to 195. Now... My first thought on this, I, I was a little bit skeptical at first with uh, having an insert that's numbered to 750. To me, it seemed a little bit silly, but um, I am starting to come around because 
it makes the chase for those low numbers and jumper numbers um, just sort of a bit a bit better. It's kind of another layer of involvement for people. Um, look, obviously, if you're not really into that, which probably isn't that many people, we all want jumper numbers. We all want O ones. Um, you know, get they're, they're going to be a bigger hit now, which means there's more opportunity for return on investment for people who flip cards. Um, you know, there's more opportunity for people, you know, if, if you are one of those people who's not really too fussed about the number of the cards, you know, you might be able to get, you know, if you've got an 01 Jake Stringer, you might be able to trade that for a full set of, you know, high numbered West Coast, if you're a West Coast collector like me. Um, so, so, you know, it just adds another little layer to the release, which I think is kind of cool. Um, you know, so, so yeah, like, yeah, there's just a bit more in it. So I'm pretty happy about that. Um, obviously, the milestones, um, number two, what did I say, 195 um, are going to be pretty cool. They are one in every 12 packs, though, the milestones. You're only going to get two of these in a box. Uh, and one in every three packs, you should get about eight of these in a box. Um, moving on to the parallels, as we all know, those of us who have been opening Prestige for a little while, uh, the parallels are back and they've added another color. We've now got a four color rainbow parallel set. Um, obviously, as you can see here, we've got the, um, we've got the pink, we've got the orange, we've got the blue, and we've got the green. So the, uh, the hit rates on these pinks are one in every four packs, so six in a box. Orange are the opposite, one in every six packs, so four in a box. Uh, blues are one in every 12, two per box, and greens, funnily enough, are one in 22. So one in most boxes, um, and I assume there'd be about one or two boxes per case that are going to have two greens in them. Um, these look great. These are the ones that like are really done an injustice by being put on this um, online checklist like this. In the, I, I don't know they're even going to look better in in hand personally, but even on the video from Select. They've, they've got this awesome um, new like grid holographic pattern in them, which looks amazing. Um, you can, like I said, you can't see them on here, but you can see them in the video. So if you're interested, go and have a look at the video um, and check those out. And obviously, you know, like the, the pinks look really cool. I was a little bit skeptical when I found out there was going to be pink parallels, but um, but no, they, they look really nice. They're a really nice pink color. I think they look way better than the orange. I, I'm honestly kind of skipping on the orange. Um, I mean, you know, I'll happily move them on and I'll happily keep the West Coast ones I get, but I definitely won't be chasing them. I'm not really much of a red and orange kind of guy. I'm more into your blues, your purples, your greens, all that kind of stuff. Um, so look, as we know uh, from Prestige last year, the greens kind of ended up becoming the big hits in those. Um, I'm assuming that's going to happen again. I'm going to be trying to target my greens pretty early because um, they dry up real quick. Um, so look, the pinks are numbered to 325, the oranges to 210, the blues to 110, and the greens again at 60 like last year. So again, there's only 60 of each player. They are going to dry up pretty quick. So I would suggest to all you team collectors out there, target them early, um, you know, spend up initially and then, you know, slowly start to recoup your money with, you know, with the smaller hits sort of as we get closer to series two. Um... So yeah, look, parallels, you guys all, you know, we've all seen them before. They look cool, um, and I think the Selected done a really good job with these again. Uh, moving on to what I think is going to be is my favorite card of this release, and I'm sure everyone's probably in the same boat as me with this one, AFL classi uh, Classified Midnight. These look fucking sick. Um, that was my first thought. My first thought when they, when, when they showed us these on the video was just, wow, these look amazing. So... They're the same uh, same uh, player representation, same list of cards as the, I guess we'll have to call them classified daylights now, um, from Footy Stars. Um, so the top 150 uh, AFL champion data uh, players ratings, uh, all those players uh, are going to be represented again in classified midnight, but these cards look so much better. They're, they're the nicest looking card in this set, in my opinion. Um... So yeah, look, these are numbered to 60 as well. They're a one in every 24 packs. So again, it's a it's a box hit. You're guaranteed one per box. Uh, and, you know, like already we're this far through the video and we're already talking about two cards numbered to 60, but uh, more on that later. Um, moving on from the extreme highs of uh, AFL Classified Midnight to the rock bottom lows for me personally in uh, the next hit in this series, and that is the Brownlow Leaders. Um... Uh, they're back. Okay, that's cool. Like, 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 whatever. 
Um, they've changed the design, I think, slightly with the gold foil. I can't really remember. I wasn't into Brownlow leaders last year. I'm really not a huge fan of them in general this year. Um, they are a one in two box hit that's numbered to 80. So, um, yeah, look, I mean, they're, they're fine. I'm not upset that they're in there or anything, and I will quite happily take one if I get a West Coast one, and I'll try to happily put it in my collection. Um, but, you know, for me, they're just a bit meh. Um, there is a couple of cool things, though, a couple of little quirks in this, um, in this insert set. Um, there are two teams that I would be happy that aren't West Coast that I, that if I did get them, I'd be very happy, and that is Fremantle and Sydney, because they had, um, Fremantle had a two-player tie for the top uh, Brownlow vote-getter last year, which was, uh, Sean Darcy and Rory Lobb, funnily enough. I can't even imagine why Rory Lobb polled a vote at all, but maybe some Freo fans can get at me about that. Um... But they're actually getting two players on a card. So the card will come out and it'll have Sean Darcy and Rory Lobb on the same card as Brownlow leaders. And then Sydney have a three-way tie uh, with Buddy, Isaac Heaney, and um, JPK. So um, that'll be pretty interesting to see how they uh, squeeze three players onto a card that looks like this. Um, but again, you know, like, I'd be pretty happy to get one of those. I think that'll be a pretty cool little quirk in this set. Uh, but again, you know, the design hasn't really changed for last year, and I thought they were boring last year, and I think they're pretty boring this year. Again, just my opinion. If you like them, that's awesome too. Um, moving on to what's next, and, um, you know, I think we're all pretty familiar with how this works, but the 2022 Platinum Brownlow Predictor... Um, Pretty interesting. A little bit to talk about with these ones. Um, so they're numbered to 80. They are one in every three boxes. So you're going to get two or three per case. Again, look, I know no one's out here buying cases of Prestige. It's just an interesting way to sort of talk about how the cards are split up. Um, now, the representation on this is a bit different It's uh, than Footy Stars, sorry. It is one player per team and a wild card. So two cards per team. Um, and I think this year the wild cards are going to play a much bigger role. If you actually look at the player representation of the Platinum Brownlow predictors. Um, you know, normally in you go back to sort of footy stars and you look at the, the players they choose for those. Generally speaking, most teams, you'd be... Um, what's the word? You, the, the, the four or five players that they choose for footy stars, um, gold predictors, there's not really too much chance that the player who wins it isn't going to be covered in those. So that the wild cards are kind of a little bit like... not not useless like you're always you know you can always get one out of the box you know but um but if you look at it this year so for instance if we look at this here we've got we got sam walsh from as the as the carlton player for the platinum brownlow prediction but if you were looking at if the brownlow count was live right now you'd think crips is probably the one winning from carlton and could probably be winning overall to be honest so um like i said um, i think there's a similar situation with brisbane so the platinum brownlow predictor for brisbane is humor gluggage but at this point, it's probably Neil who's winning from Brisbane, if anyone from Brisbane is winning. So, you know, I think I think the, the wild cards are going to have a bit more value this year, which is kind of cool because I think um, they've kind of been a little bit irrelevant in the past. So I think it's, it's, it's going to be nice that, um, you know, that that's the way that goes with that. I am personally going to be chasing an Andy Brayshaw Brownlow predictor. I think, um, you know, I, I, he's my bet for the Brownlow this year, especially at the, to this point of the season. Um, I don't think there's too many people at Frio who will be taking too many votes off him. Um, because they're such a well-rounded team. Um, you know, they, they play good team football, and he seems to be the one guy who's going sort of over and above everyone else. Um, and they're winning, and they're winning. So, you know, he's going to be getting votes, and he's played some bloody good football this year already. Um, I'd love to see him in a West Coast jumper, even though I know uh, that's not ever going to happen. Um, I'd like to see him on one wing and Gaff on the other. Um so yeah, look, that's kind of the uh, the main stuff for the sort of lower end insert. As you can see, we scrolled down a bit early, um, and you can see what the next ones are, and I'm sure you're all across it already, but we've got the Red Virtuosos. Um, so carrying on from Footy Stars again, um, Virtuoso Reds, which will be numbered to 50, one in every 10 boxes, so it should be about one a case. Um, and this, uh, this set, they've gone on something a little bit different where they're focusing on defenders, um, which I think is kind of cool. Uh, we've got player representation here for defenders that, uh, you know, are players who might not always get high-end cards for your team. Um, for me, I'm pretty happy. I'm a big Tom Barass fan, so, uh, sorry, Tom Barassi fan, and um, I'd be pretty happy to get myself my hand, my, ugh, oh, sorry, look, I am very tired today. Um, I'd be very happy to get uh, my hands on a Tom Barass Virtuoso numbered to 50. Um, 
We'll scroll down and we'll actually just have a quick look at the checklist with the player representation of this whole set in general. Um, so it's a quick one here. One player from every team. Um, one defender from every team. So we got from the Crows, Dude. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, I'm really not feeling well. Um, <laughs> uh, we got Tom Dude from the Crows. Uh, Harris Andrews from the Lions. Weedering from the Blues. Darcy Moore, Jaden Laverde, Luke Ryan, Tom Stewart, Sam Taylor, Sam Collins, Sam Frost. Damn, we got a lot of Sams there. Uh, Jake Lever, Ben McKay, Aaliyah Aaliyah, Dylan Grimes, Dougal Howard, Tom McCartan, Tom Barassi, and Alex Keith. So, you know, not exactly huge household names, but I think they're all players who, you know, uh, supporters of their teams probably think very highly of them, like myself. I mean, I know all Richmond fans love Dylan Grimes. You know, Sam Collins, pretty much a nearly a lone hand down there for Gold Coast, taking the biggest key forward every week for an undersized defender. Gets a lot of love. Tom Stewart, Luke Ryan, Darcy Moore, guys like this. Guys who are loved by their supporters, but probably don't always get the, uh, the love in the footy card market. Um, the other good thing about this is it might not send prices through the roof because they're not hugely hyped players you know they should be easier for us to to collect and get our hands on even though they're going to be high-end cards i mean i don't think anyone's going to be paying 400 dollars for a sam frost virtuoso you know I, I just don't think it's good. so it does it does make the chase a little bit easy for us a little bit easier for us collectors because these players don't have as much hype as the big name mids and forwards so so that's pretty cool um Moving on to the piece de resistance, let's say. Uh, Virtuoso Signature Redemption. Uh, one in 900 packs. There are six of different, there are six sets of these, and each Virtuoso Signature Redemption will redeem two cards. We got two cards, um, two signature cards, mind you, as well. So for each team, we'll, uh, we'll quickly go through the teams that are listed in this one. We've got the Bombers, the Cats, the Hawks, Port, Sydney, and Frio. Um, and we'll go down uh, We'll go down and just have a look at the player representation on this as well. So Virtuoso Signatures for Essendon. As you can see before, we've got uh, uh, Zach Merritt and Nick Martin. For Geelong, we've got Tom Hawkins and Brad Close. For Hawthorne, we've got Warple and CJ. For Port, we've got Rosie and Wines. Sydney, you've got Parker and Warner. And for Frio, you've got Mundy and Sarong, which I think is the pick of this set. I mean, don't get me wrong, uh, Rosie and Wines is pretty good too, but I think Mundy and Sarong, something old, something new, and f unfortunately they're not blue, so we can't say something borrowed, something blue, something borrowed, something red. Um, but uh, but these look pretty cool. I like the way they've gone about this. Like I said, an established player and an up-and-comer. Um, these are numbered to 40, and again, one in 900 packs. Um, I think these are really cool. Um, so it should be like every three cases, I think, is the quick maths on that. Um, so yeah, these are these are big hits. They're pretty rare. Um, so this leads to something um, which I think is quite interesting with the Virtuoso and how this set's going to go going forward. So obviously Footy Stars, uh, non-Prestige. We have the Virtuoso Sigs from Carlton, Collingwood, Melbourne, Richmond, St Kilda and the Doggies. Uh, and Prestige, as I said, we've got Bombers, Cats, Hawks, Port, Sydney, and Frio. So, uh, with Season 2 coming later in the year, whether that's Optimum 2 or we find another name for it or whatever that may be, are we going to get Virtuoso signatures from the Crows, the Lions, the Giants, the Suns, North, and the Eagles? Um, interesting to see what they do with that going forward. I'm assuming that's what they're going to do. I'm sure they're not just going to leave six teams out. They are going to give everyone an opportunity to collect a Virtuoso signature of their supported team. So that's going to be pretty cool, um, but yeah, look, there's a there, there's a bit there's a funny little thing with these as well. The one the, the one thing I it was actually brought up on um, uh, Card Authority. Um, they did a they did a little pod after the release video yesterday, and I think this is a really interesting point. So obviously the cards are going to be numbered. They're numbered to forty. Um, so if you're a jumper number collector. You're not going to get the same. You're not going to get the same jumper number because it's two different players. So the thing there's going to be a fair bit of trading involved with these. Excuse me. Um, I think there's going to be a fair bit of trading involved with these um, for people who want to get the the virtuoso signature set with both jumper numbers because you're not going to get them with your redemption. So that's that just adds another little layer of funness to the virtuoso sig. I mean they look great. As I said before, I'm not really normally a fan of like reds and oranges on on cards in in large amounts, but um I think what they've done here with the uh what are you going to call it? The crimson smoke. Um I think they look really good. I think they're really cool. I I would be very stoked if I end up with one of those. 
Um, so yeah, look guys, that's pretty much the up and down of the inserts. Um, you know, like I said, a lot of value in here for 155 bucks, guys. Like if you if you're umming and ahhing about whether you're gonna get on it, just just stop umming and ahhing and get on it. Like th these are gonna be great. Um, so yeah, look, very affordable. 155 dollars a box. No dead packets. Every box should contain something like three, uh, two numbered cards under 60 and a numbered card under 80. Um, so yeah, I really don't think you can argue with that at all. Um, so yeah, that's that's prestige. A um, couple of little, uh, I guess, sort of like off insert topics I'd like I wanted to talk about a little bit, like just the value in general. So as I just mentioned, like in every box you're guaranteed to get two cards under sixty with the uh, the green parallel uh, number sorry under sixty number two sixty with the green parallel and the midnight classifieds. Now I reckon you're going to get fifty to hundred bucks for both of those depending on the player and. Heaven forbid you hit a jumper number. It's, if you, you know, you're probably looking at two hundred dollars for a jumper number green, or more, depending on the player, uh, and probably something similar with the classified. So, you know, like there is the opportunity to pull four, five hundred dollars worth of value out of one box. Obviously, every box isn't going to have that sort of value in it, but um, again, one hundred and fifty-five bucks—that's pretty bloody good value, if you ask me. Um, just breaking down the hit rates on some of these as well. Um, so for me, if we go back and look look at the hit rates and look at how many of everything we're getting in each box, this opens up a bit of a question for me. So I've sort of summed it up like this. Each box you should be getting eight game breakers, two milestones, six pinks, four orange, two blue, one green, and a midnight classified. Now that equals 24 hits. So they also say that, you know, there's the opportunity to get an extra green or a Brownlow predictor or a Brownlow leader or a virtuoso. So I'm interested to see how they're going to put these additional hits in the pack. You know, are some packs going to have two hits? Um, you know, is there... Uh, oh, no, we'll get to it now. So is there going to be an Easter egg of some sort where, um, you know, there's, there's going to be extra inserts in the pack? Um, just, I don't know, just something to think about. So... I think the big hit for me in this set is that there's no dead packs. Every pack has a numbered insert. Great for people who are collectors like myself. Great for flippers. Great for breakers as well. People who are breaking, you know you're not just going to get like four packs that are just base in a box. Um, so that's really good. It's also good for, you know, the people going down to the local hobby shop because they will be allocated packs and boxes to hobby shops. Um, if you're going down there and just buying a few loose packs, you know you're going to get a numbered insert. So, so that's really cool. Um... I think this, the misses for me, um, obviously the Brownlow leaders cards, eh, you know, whatever. Um, the big miss for me, and this kind of ties back to our last point, but I'll go through this part first, is there's no 30th anniversary cards. I was hoping that would be something that would maybe get put through um, every set this year. You know, so you have like your Prestige Gold Seals, your Footy Stars Gold Seals, your Optimum 2 Gold Seals, if that ends up being what the set is. Um, but then again, tying that back to not knowing how we're going to get these extra hits in the pack, is this going to be the Easter egg of this set? So obviously Optimum last year we had gold headliners. Um, Supremacy last year we had the god boxes. Is the Easter egg of this set going to mean that every pack has two hits and one of those is like a 30th anniversary prestige gold seal and then then your parallel or your game breaker or your brown blue leader or, or whatever it might be so that's something i think that you know might be something that we might hear about uh, on release day and stuff like that um and i think it would make sense i mean if someone wants to do the maths on the commons and everything and how many of all those cards are absolutely do that and then tell me in the comments because i do not have the energy to do that or probably the math skills if i'm being brutally honest <laughs> um the other miss for me which uh, isn't a miss it was just i guess a rumor proved wrong uh was the uh i know it was a big rumor on the card trading forums and a, and a, and a lot of pages and stuff like that that the uh the black canvas was going to be a hit in prestige which uh which i think would be great just like exactly the same as the footy stars blank canvas but just on a jet black background with you know the player's name in the gold writing like like blank canvas and then the same picture of the player with that same nice sort of matte finish i think that would have been cool is that again you know like i said select in recent history you know have uh, a bit of a reputation for putting in these little easter eggs so you know really excited to see what we're going to get in that um, if you guys have got any ideas, absolutely let me know in the comments. Let's talk about it. 
Um, I want to see what uh, what do you guys think was going to be the Easter egg of Prestige 2022, if there even is going to be one. Normally, that's sort of something that I think has been saved for later releases. But um, yeah, look, I think I think there's definitely opportunity for there uh, for us to get those extra hits in packs if they do slide like a Gold Seal 30th anniversary thing into that. Um, so yeah, look, uh, look. If you're an SCC member, guys, get your orders in before next Sunday morning. Um, I've already ordered mine. I'm aiming to sort of get my full allotment. Um, and maybe save some for later in the year um, or do something like that. Not 100% sure what I'm going to do with them all yet. I will definitely be opening them up on the channel, though. Um, and, yeah, guys, look, that's probably it from me for now. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Um, don't forget, here's that on the socials. Um, I've also got a little something in the works for uh, the end of year or when we hit 100 subs, whatever comes first. Um, I've sort of been collecting loose packs from post offices and servos and... Kmart and Target and all that stuff. So I think what we're going to do, when we hit 100 subs, or by the end of the footy season, maybe post-grand final Mad Monday celebrations, we will do a loose pack special where we just hang out, knock the tops off a few cans, and open a whole bunch of loose packs. So, uh, you know, if you're enjoying the content and you're looking forward to seeing something like that, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Um, also, yeah, man, other way, if, it's, if we don't get to 100 subs by a grand final day, I think we'll do a big Mad Monday special. Um, and we'll probably do that live too. We'll probably stream it. I'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll sort of get that out on the socials and, um, you know, make sure we got a nice little crowd for that. So that'll be fun. I've got some, um, oh, a few spoilers of what I picked up already. We got some, we got some TCG. Uh, I got some old retro footy stuff. Um, I got some, um, some good old nineties NBA stuff. Some, uh, some Flair Ultra, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. You know, we, we got some stuff. Um, so we could hit absolutely everything. I'm actually really looking forward to it. I, I keep looking at this pile of loose packs in the drawer next to my desk thinking, God, I can't wait to open these. So get to subscribing so we can open them. <laughs> uh, anyways, look, guys, that will probably be it for me. Um, look, next time I see you all, we're going to be opening some Prestige. Pretty excited about that. Probably, yeah, like I think, I think it's probably going to be two to three weeks away from when we get it. Um, I don't really think I've got too much stuff to open before that. Um, you know, we might pick up some sneaky team coach if we get the chance. I do have a random box of Future Force kicking around somewhere. Maybe we'll open that at some point if I'm, uh, you know, I'm looking to open some stuff before Prestige. A little bit of a warm-up video. But um, anyways, guys, look, thanks for watching. Um, keep dodging that COVID like the Matrix, guys. Um, stay safe, be happy, and uh, good luck hunting your cards. Let's get that Prestige action, guys. We'll see you all soon. See you later.